So this question provides us with a table, right? So I'm going to treat this as a diagram question. This table has a couple of columns. The first column is fluid ounces. The second column is frequency. The title here is amount of water in 80 bottles. Um, and then we have these fluid ounces amounts per row and the frequency with which you find that amount of volume of water in bottles. So the question goes on to say the frequency table above shows the distribution of the actual number of fluid ounces of water in a random sample of 80 20 ounce bottles of the water at a bottling plant. So we can see that some of them are a little below, um, some of them are right at the 20 as advertised, and a few of them are actually a little bit above the 20 ounces. So the bottles are only sold Bottles are only sold if they contain at least 19.8, but no more than 20.2. So that's our range. So 19.8 to 20.2 equals sold. So if it's under that, they're not sold. If it's above that, they're not sold. If the proportion of bottles that can be sold is the same for the sample and the 16,000 20-ounce bottles produced at the plant each day, how many of the 16,000 bottles cannot be sold? All right, so I need to know what proportion of the 80 bottles represented in my table cannot be sold, and then I can use that to create a proportion to determine how many of the 16,000 bottles cannot be sold. So how many can't be sold here? So 19.6 is below the threshold, so that can't be sold. 19.7, we only had zero of those, but anyway, if there were 19.7, that could also not be sold. 19.8 through 20.2, all of those are good, but this one at 20.3 cannot be sold, and of course, the zero that we have there for 20.4. So out of the 80 bottles, it's really only one, two that cannot be sold. So two out of 80, which when I do a, actually, I'll just keep it as a fraction. So every one out of 40 bottles cannot be sold. So understanding that, then I can say one out of 40 cannot be sold, and that proportion, that ratio, should be equal to the same ratio of bottles that cannot be sold out of the 16,000 bottles, right? So saying I don't know how many that is. So when I solve this by cross multiplication, I can see that I get 40x is equal to 16,000. I just simply divide both sides by 40, and um, I end up with 400 as my answer. X is equal to 400. So choice C is the correct answer here.